and thanks for joining me for desk yoga. Uh, no need for any fancy gym work. Whatever you're sat in front of your desk um, at today is just fine. Um, we're just aiming to release some tension in the neck, the upper chest, the shoulders, the upper back. Um, just we're a little bit hunched over a lot if we sat at our desk quite a more than usual at the moment. So it's just all about that whole area, releasing some tension, making some space. Um, if there's anything more than a slight discomfort, anything painful, back off, stop completely. Um, but there's nothing too difficult or strenuous uh, in today's session that should cause you any problems. So on that note, let's get started. So as you'll see, I'm away from my desk at the minute. So if you just want to either roll your chair back or move your chair back slightly. What I want you to be doing is not sitting back in the chair, just perhaps to move you, your bottom to about halfway from front to back of your chair. No pronounced arching in the back. Nice and long, tall spine, right up through the back of the neck, nice and long, the crown of the head facing the ceiling so we're not tilting the head either down or backwards. Okay. So as with any yoga session, we're just going to start with um, a couple of minutes just to bring us into the moment to set aside whatever it was that we were just previously doing. So backs of the hands on the backs of the thighs. Gently close the eyes. And take a deep breath in. In through the nose. And release out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And just let your attention rest on your breath for a minute. Don't force the breath. Just notice it. Where does it go? How does it feel? And just let it be. And then take your attention to the top of the head, to the scalp. Tingling sensation across the top of the scalp. And think about letting any tension in the top of the head melt away. Down the sides of the head, the back of the head, the forehead. Relax and release and let any tension melt away. Make the eyes heavy and the cheekbones and the jaw release the tension. Let it melt away into the neck. Any tension melt away. Across the top of the shoulders, down the front of the chest to the belly, melt the tension away. The back of the shoulders, the spine, the lower back, tension melt away. The shoulders at the top of the arms, feel the tension slip away down the upper arms, the forearms, and melt away out through the fingertips, into the hips and the pelvis area, relax, the thighs and the hamstrings. The knees, the shins and the calves, relax. The top of the feet, the heel, any remaining tension slip away out through the feet and the toes. And then start to bring some movement back into the fingers and the toes. 
backs of circles with the wrists. One way and then the other. And flick the fingers. And release the hands to the back of the legs once again. And gently blink open the eyes. Okay. Let's just recheck back in with that spine just to make sure we've not slipped down into it a little bit. Spine nice and long and tall. We're going to start with some shoulder rolls. So hands on shoulders, lift the shoulders up and back and down, slow and mindful, just to start getting some movement into the shoulders and start to release that tension. Five backwards and then switch forwards. And these can be as deep and as wide as possible, or gentle and small, whatever suits you today. And after your final fifth fold roll, bring yourself back to stillness. The arms release down the sides and then take a big shrug up and create some tension. And then dump the shoulders down and let it go. Create tension and let it go. And finally, one last time, create tension, let it go. So now with the arms out to the sides, we're going to put a little bit of movement into that shoulder joint at the top. Palms facing the floor, and then switch so the palms face behind you. And then roll the shoulders up even more. Can you get your palms to face the ceiling? If you want a challenge, can you roll them even further so the backs of the hand, so the palms of the hand are facing the front of the room? And then up to the ceiling, to the back, and to the floor. And the other way, palms forwards, palms up, palms back, and then up, forwards, and down, and release. Bit of a challenge that one. Give the shoulders a little bit of a shake and bring this up, bring your spine to stillness again for a second. So now I'm going to take your Left arm out to the side, flip the hand, stretch it up to the ceiling, and then bend the arm so that the hand touches to the side of the either the cheek, or if you if you can only manage to get up there, top of the head, wherever your arm goes, that's fine. And with the opposite hand, bring that to the shoulder, breath in. And just gently with the weight of the hand and gravity, no pulling, just let that left ear meet the left shoulder. And with this hand, just gently make sure that the shoulder doesn't rise. And just gently pull that down so you've got a lovely stretch here. Really nice at releasing that tension in the neck. And let it go. Repeat on the opposite side. So right hand up to the ceiling. Drop it down wherever you can. Left hand to the shoulder. And again, just the gravity and the weight of the hand. Just pulling that right ear to right shoulder. Left hand pulling that shoulder down. Lovely stretch here. Really nice. Relaxing. Tension release. And let it go. So now we're going to do um, a twist to the, the neck and the upper shoulders. And we're going to use our nose as a point of reference. So nose should be facing right dead ahead of you. And on an inhale, make the back nice and long, 
shoulders down and look out over that left shoulder. Can you take the nose to look over your left shoulder, but keep the right shoulder square on. Don't let that turn around with you. And then back to centre. Repeat on the opposite side. Inhale, look over the right shoulder. Look behind. Checking with the left shoulder that that's not moved. And then back to centre. Once more. Over the left shoulder. Back to centre. Over the right shoulder. Back to centre. Again, between each exercise, check in spine long, neck long, crown of the head to the ceiling. Now, again, we're going to use our nose as a point of reference. And we're going to very gently, we're not going to dump the head back here or down. It's more pointing of the nose to what you would think would be the number 12 on the clock. And we're going to go and take the nose and the eyes to 3 o'clock. And then down to 6 o'clock. And 9 o'clock. And back. To 12 o'clock and then anti clockwise back to 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock and back to 12 o'clock and gaze forward again. Any clicks or crunches or any noise that's coming from your neck when you do that, that's good. That means that we're, we're opening up all those little bits of tension. So we're now going to uh, really concentrate on opening this area on the back of the shoulders. So arms out in front of you, palms facing. And we're going to take the left hand or left arm and bring it over the right arm. You might only get to the you might get all the way. The idea is that the elbows kind of cross each other and then bend the elbows. So if you're like that, that's fine. The backs of the hands, we're aiming to touch them. And what we're looking to do is bring the elbows to the height of the shoulders and then push the arms away from you. And that should be giving you a lovely stretch feeling here. So lift the elbows, push the palms away. If you want a little challenge, drop the neck down and push the arms away even further. You should feel a really nice stretch on the back of the neck and across the top of the shoulders and the shoulder blades. And then release. And wriggle if you want to. And on the other side, right hand over left, bend the elbows, head the hands, the back of the hands together, lift the shoulders, push the forearms away from the face, drop the chin if you can, push even further away. Lovely stretch, back of the neck, back of the shoulders, shoulder blades, top of the back, and release. Ooh. Shoulders are wriggle again. Okay, we're going to do what we call our cat cow now, which is something that we would normally do uh, on a tabletop position on all fours, but we can do this in a chair just as well. So now I do want you to put a pronounced uh, movement of the spine. So hands on the thighs, and on an inhale, put a lovely deep arch in the back, bring the shoulders back, push the shoulder, uh, the collarbones through, face the front, lovely deep arch. And then on an exhale, 
round the shoulders, round the spine, drop the chin to the chest. That's our cat position. Inhale, arch the back, collarbones through, cow position. And just gently in your own time, complete four more rounds of that cat cow. Really mindful, really feel the stretch across the back of the shoulders and pull the shoulder blades in as you arch your back. And after your fourth round, bring yourself back to stillness. Shoulders down, spine and neck nice and long once more. So we're now gonna use the chair as a bit of a prop. So if you've got arms, you can use the arm, you can use the back of the chair. So with your left hand, just pop it over the back of the chair. Shoulders facing forward, square on. Right hand on the outside of the left knee. Inhale up and on an exhale, twist from the top of the shoulders and the neck and the head all the way around. So you're actually twisting further down the spine to round about the middle of the spine. And use the back of the chair as a way to pull in just to intensify that twist even more. And back to centre. Opposite side, so right hand over the back of the chair, left hand onto the outside of the right knee. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist the neck, the shoulders, the upper back, the middle back. Use the knee to press on inwards in the chair to press in towards you. And then release back to centre. Okay, we're now going to do our um, side stretch. So come slightly forward of the, <coughs> to the edge of the chair. Take the feet about hip width apart. Arms out to the side, palms facing down. Take the right hand, so the left hand, and place the back of the palm on the inside of the right thigh. The right arm, palm up, reach up to the ceiling. Check in with the shoulder, make sure it's nice and down. And then on an inhale, stretch and reach out over to the side. Don't dump down. It's a side stretch, so you're feeling a nice elongated stretch here. Inhale, back to centre, switch to the other side, so left palm up, back of the right hand to the inside of the right thigh, the right groin rather, stretch up, shoulders down, inhale, stretch over to the side. Lovely stretch all the way down here again. Try not just to bend it up, it's a stretch up and over. I'm just going to get something that's just popped up on my computer screen. Thank you. So now I'm going to put that into a little bit of a flow. So I'm going to do one. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, back to centre. 
Then place the hands onto the thighs. Take your knees a little further apart again. And we're now going to bring um, the right shoulder down to the left knee. Now, it might be that that's all you can manage. Um, but we're heading towards the knee. Just be careful if you're in a wheelie chair that the chair doesn't wheel away from you on this one. So on an inhale, dip that right shoulder to left knee on an exhale. Inhale back to centre and repeat on the opposite side on an exhale. Just be careful that the buttock of the shoulder that you're dipping doesn't rise off the chair. If it does, just take your dip slightly higher, not quite as deep. And we should be feeling now a lovely kind of stretch into the lower back and a twist into that area as well. Final side, dip down and back up. Okay, feet back together and then bring the toes to face the ceiling. So we've got a nice stretch in the back of the heels, the calves, the hamstrings. If you need, if you, your legs, are, your hamstrings are really tight, you can put a slight bend in here, just enough so that you can feel a lovely stretch down the back of the legs. And then try and point the toes forward, and if you can, get the flat of the, the sole of the foot flat on the floor. Um, or any way in between. Okay, then bring up the left leg, hands on hips, breathe in and fold forward on an exhale as far down as you can just to intensify the stretch in the right hamstring. But again, you can put a bend in the leg, leg if you need to. No should be paid. Um, pointing towards the floor so you're not putting a crick back into the back of the neck and on an inhale come back up again then switch sides so we bend up the right leg at this point inhale and again exhale fold forward feel a lovely stretch in the back of that leg this will also be working the um the buttocks and the the very small of the back and then an inhale, come back to centre. Okay, a little bit of a challenge for you here. Bend the knees back up again, about um, hip width apart. Lift up the left foot and place it on top of the right foot. So we're just getting a very, very slight um, opening of the hip. If you, if that's enough for you today that's fine or we can pull up the foot and hold it more of an intense opening of the hip or we can place it down just above the knee or even bring the foot into the ground whatever works for you whatever feels right we just need to feel um, a stretch in the groin and an opening of the hip and we'll feel it in the um, ankle as well if we're kind of in a, in a really pronounced position. So uh, on an inhale, lift up the foot wherever is right for you. And just put a little bit of pressure. You, just using your own body. You don't need to push anything with your hands. Just feel that lovely, intense stretching opening. And then when you're ready, put back on the floor, change sides, wherever works for you today. One side is likely to be different than the other, so you might find one side is a oop, and the other side is an ah. And feet back down. Now I'm just going to do finally uh, work a much forgotten part of our body. Um, much needed at this time is our eyes. So with your hand out, arm out stretched in front of you, place the palm to face you and just stir at your palm. Don't blink, stir to the point where your eyes start to sting 
and you need to blink. But not until you feel that sting, and then when you do, blink, 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 blink away. And stir back at the palm again, and then take the palm away and refocus the gaze to anything as far in front of you as you can actually look and stir and feel that sting and then blink. Now take your thumb in front of you, stir at the thumb and without moving the head or the shoulders, follow the thumb. Follow the thumb right out across to the left hand side over the left shoulder until the thumb disappears and then bring it back to centre. Swap sides, follow the thumb, don't move the head, tension as it is, when it's disappeared, bring it back to centre and then blink. You should be feeling a little bit of uh, fluid now rolling around the eyes, which is good. That's really important. Thumb in front of you <clears throat> without moving the head at all. Take the thumb up to the ceiling until you can't see it anymore. Back down to center. And again, not moving the head. Bring the thumb to the floor. And then back to center and again blink away. Now look for the end of the nose and bring the gaze back to normal. Bottom of the hand, the pads of the hands at the bottom, gently place them on your eyebrows, stretch the eyebrows up gently and brush. Three temples, nice and gentle. And again, just a little bit of a stretch around the eyes. And then on the final one, just make it a little bit more of a stretch when you get to the temple on the sides. You look like you've got a dodgy face up. And then let go. Remember the eyes, 20 minutes, every 20 minutes. Exercise your eyes like that. That'll start to alleviate some headaches and some tension, maybe even some nausea, blurred vision, all of that. Exercise your eyes. And that comes to the close of the class. So before we finish, we're just going to bring ourselves back to the awareness of the body. So again, back to the hands, close to the top of the thighs, and gently close the eyes. And check back in with your body. On an inhale, make sure that spine is nice and long, the back of the head is long, the crown of the head to the ceiling and the left. Inhaling, exhale out. And then let's let the breath return to your own rhythm. Notice the body compared to the start of the class. Can you feel that your neck and shoulders are slightly less tense? You may even feel a sensation of energy running around all of those areas that we stretched today. And take that relaxation with you. And remember at times to stop, to pause, to adjust, to gently move, to refocus. And therefore, have more clarity for your next task, your next piece of work, the next part of your day. Gently bring the palms together and rub them to get a little bit of tension 
Sorry, a little bit of warmth. And place them gently over your eyes. Spread the fingers. Link open the eyes. Return the hands to the prayer position, heart centre. Bow the head. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed the class and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.